Hi everyone, today I will show you how to make deep fried Korean sweet potato called Goguma Tigim in Korean. Obtain one large Korean sweet potato, wash it good and remove any bad parts on the skin. Cut it into quarter inch slices. You will get about 25 pieces. Sprinkle some salt evenly on top of the sweet potato slices. Set them aside while you're preparing the batter. This will help boost the sweetness of sweet potato later. Put 1 fourth cup of frying mix in a plastic bag and add the sweet potatoes. Shake the bag to coat the sweet potatoes with the frying mix. This will help the batter stick to the sweet potatoes better. Combine the ingredients to make the batter. Mix everything together. Preheat your oil on medium high. Drop a little bit of batter into the heated oil. When the batter floats right away, the oil is ready. Dip the floured sweet potatoes into the batter. Cover both sides of the sweet potatoes with the batter. Put the battered sweet potatoes into the hot oil. Deep fry them on medium high for about 5 minutes or until the sweet potato slices are completely cooked and the outside is golden brown. The easy way to check if a slice is cooked is to poke the center of it with a fork or chopstick. If your chopstick goes through smoothly, it is done. Place some paper towels on a tray and put the fried sweet potatoes there to cool and root some of the grease. Some people dip the slices into a soy dipping sauce, however I prefer mine just plain. The sweet chestnut flavor of the sweet potatoes and nicely crispy outside make a great combination of both flavor and texture. They taste good both when they are warm or cold. If you can get some delicious Korean sweet potatoes someday, definitely try this. Aga. 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 Wanna deep fry? Hmm? Deep fry. This way? Turn it over? Yes. I want deep fry. Deep fry. What? What do you want? I want deep fry. Oh! I that's want... not for you. No, 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 Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.